I didn't expect this one at all. <sighs> wow. Um, GG. Hello YouTube, our welcome is Fine Dane. Today we are going to have a look at Huatli Radiant Champion in Historic Brawl. This deck aims to win by ultimating Huatli Radiant Champion as fast as possible and then just basically drawing the whole deck by playing creatures. So, um, how do we ultimate Huatli as fast as possible, you might ask? So the plus ability of Huatli says it's plus one and then it gets an additional loyalty counter for each creature we control. So it starts at 3, the ultimate costs 8. It gets plus 1 from the ability itself, so we need 4 creatures to give it 8 loyalty in total. Uh, the plan is then to play Huatli, um, preferably when we have 4 creatures on the battlefield, plus 8 or eight or more loyalty, and then next turn minus ultimating. And the ultimate gives us an emblem that whenever a creature enters the battlefield under our control, we draw a card for each of those creatures. Uh, that is particularly insane because it doesn't specify non-token like most of these effects do. So we just get a ton of card draw by playing cards like Join the Dance. For two mana, we create two tokens. Um, and in the, in the same spirit, we have Verdant Command, we have Sepperling Migration, uh, we have Servo Exhibition, a bunch of cards. Basically, the going ratio in this deck is usually one mana for one body. Uh, there are some uh, cards that break this uh, and like are better than, than that. Ornithopter is zero mana, this is just like Stone Call and Ugin's Conjurant. Or we can also, and that is a really spicy tech, Inquisitive Puppet. It's a one mana O2, we exile it, create a token, and um, then we draw, it's basically one mana, draw two, and we also create a token. And we have a bunch of token synergies in this deck. We play Parallel Lives, we play Anointed Procession. And then we have some great, like, we also have Divine Visitation to make every token that enters a 4 for an angel instead, which is, like, massive. And then we can also just have Cathar's Crusade to really rub it in, right? Create five tokens, uh, put five plus one plus one counter on everything. And it is just getting nuts. One of the absolute best cards, actually, in this uh, deck as well, as soon as we ultimate, is Captain Abelhard, because spells cast from among cards you, uh, um, uh, you drew this turn cost one less to cast. So this is basically every king costs one mana less. And that is extremely, extremely potent, because this also reduces cards like March of the Multitudes, uh, Oketra's Monument, all those cards. and. Alcatraz Monument, yes, only our white creature spells cost one less to cast, but whenever we cast a creature, we get another token. Same goes for Torrent's Fist of the Angels. So we just basically have this machine that rolls on and on and on, and even if we have no mana anymore, we can still just go on with our Convoke cards, uh, like Centaur and then the Venerated Loxagon. We have a bunch of ch uh, cheap or like medium cheap Convoke cards that help us uh, just go even further with our turn. And then the way we can actually finish off the opponent, apart from just having this massive board, is we can use the Huatli minus, um, and that gives plus X plus X to a creature, where X is the number of creatures we control, so that can just give like 20, 30 uh, power. And in a similar vein, we have that on the instant speed, Might of the Masses for one green, for the literal same effect. And then we can swing in, one of our creatures is going to not probably not be blocked, and then just might of the masses boom there you go and uh, that is basically the deck hope you enjoyed this video um if you do leave a like um and uh, hope you support the channel because it does help me out a lot and i love every single one of you <laughs> um yeah let's go we are ready to play against Belados with a bloom punk goes first ah and we really love to have a one drop usually um, if we had a one drop and one more land, this would be fire, but uh, I think this might just be better, especially if we draw a land here. Um, I would love to see that happening. Mm -hmm. So, yep, a boil grazer, putting a castle Arden Veil into play, and I'm not sure yet if I... Oh, we can play Rosemain Center actually next turn. Wow. Uh, that that's quick. So that's pretty great of the Ornithopter. Um, we do need to be careful that we don't use all of our gas usually um, because we still need to minus that then play creatures. But this just seems blazingly fast, doesn't it? 
So join the dance, Ornithopter, Rosemane Centaur, and that is a pretty good turn 3, and now we just pray to top deck a land to then be able to plus Huatli. And if we don't, we're kind of sad, not gonna lie. Um, so, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, guys. <clears throat> just need to draw that sweet, sweet land. Also, talking about sweet, I love this Ornithopter uh, art they recently put on sale. Oh, we are so good at magic. You know it. It's it's the channel where we're good at magic. So now Huatli immediately pluses to 9. And that is a ton. And we can minus and she even lives. Um, so yeah. Let's see where this goes. Maximize acquisition and I... Is there a two mana black kill spell for yes, bail for mastery. They can get bail for mastery to exile the Huatli here. Um which I think is the right choice. Unless they're just going for a like combo kill or whatnot. And in that case. Um Oh Assassin's Trophy is not the optimal one because I get to draw and play land, whereas the Baleful only gets me to draw a card. My board presence is not... Oh yeah, now we can just plus again. Yeah, but, but my board presence is not nothing anyways. Uh, I can all... Nah, I'm, I'm greedy. I was, I was thinking maybe I want to minus here, but I'd like to just put on pressure. But I don't think that is necessary. They won't activate Belladress anyways, right? Just puts them so far behind. Assassin's Trophy again, sure. Um, if I draw another land, like this is the reason why you didn't want Assassin's Trophy because it just immediately runs me and it just like puts me into this same old loop basically. Yep. Uh, give me green, sure. Uh, untapped land again. I, I take that. Yeah, that is Cathar's Crusade. Saproling Migration. Boom. And we swing in, and that is just a massive amount of damage coming in at the opponent. Um, and even if they survive this, even if they just like board wipe here, um, they're not in a great spot because Join the Dance uh, can create tokens. And uh, then the Castle Ardenvale can just create more and more and more tokens. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, that is the game. GG. We are ready to play against Edgar Charmed Groom. Poet goes first. Uh, this hand really would have loved a one drop. I'm not sure if I can even... Toss this away. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Alright. Sure. Oh yes, uh, I'm just going to play this as a one drop right now, just to get this extra loyalty on Huatli. Um, yeah, seems good. Dust Legion Zealot, sure. Um, ooh, that's a Toski. So that's potentially absolutely fantastic for us. Arterial Flow, we discard two cards of... Finale probably goes away and then the Centaur. Yeah. I hope they attack here. Oh, they didn't. Smart, smart. Green. And the question is do I swing with the Lotus Cobra? Probably not. God, this is pretty, pretty good here. Maybe I should have. Would have drawn me one card here. Um, would have. Yeah. It's interesting. Ooh. Green, yeah. And. Tramps expertise into servo exhibition. We swing it with both, I guess. Block, block, sure. The next turn we can play Huatian plus. 
I assume they are going to play their commander here soon. Then they have either one white or one black up. Mm -hmm. Um, sure, play the land. And we're going to plus. Toski has to attack, but we're keeping the servos back to block. Just so we can defend this wildly. Westgate region here, and uh, now we're in business. Now, Watley Ultimates. Oh, yes, beautiful. And yeah, you, you'll see the power of this deck now. Um, we are going to draw so many cards here. Unless I just draw two lands, but you know. It is what it is. Oh, speak of the devil. Um, I, I think this is an all attack uh, because just drawing three cards here gives me so much advantage. I shouldn't have blocked the Toski, they should have just blocked the Servo, right? Yep, draw cards, draw cards. And every single like creature we draw is basically just more and more fuel. Yep. Um, Hanwar Militia Captain transforms, whereas the Rish card taps. Uh, I, I think it's a Hanwar Militia Captain here. Just gives us. Yeah. Um, it's a bit unfortunate the way like we tapped our lands, but we couldn't know that we now only have a white one drop as the literal last card here instead of a green one. Oh well. <clears throat> So, I assume they kill the Best Bay Cult Leader, right? Uh, I th do I want to block this or not? I am assuming a board wipe, kinda. I, I think I win, like, blocking this extremely early it helps a ton in just not get, like, getting absolutely overrun by this, because every time deals combat damage it basically doubles his power so i want to block it as early as possible and i think i just win off this board alone already so yeah yep yep and it, maybe I should have just let the vampire token go through, but like I can jump, I, I, it just creates so many blockers each and every single turn that um, don't really respect too much what they're doing to be honest. Yeah, sure. As well, cult leader kicks in. Um, let's start with a legion's landing here. Draw a card, sure. Um. Oh, I shouldn't have tapped a white for that though. Oh yeah, and they, they are just surrendering from the sheer card advantage. Um, just to point out why I shouldn't have tapped a white, it make, uh, Rishkar gives 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters across creatures, and then each creature with a counter adds green. So by putting more green onto the servers, I basically now have 1 green, 3, um, three green, 1 white, and I wanted a more even spread. But I guess it's fine Even with the Sanctum we even had, I just tap for double green. Because you, you really need to manage your colors in this deck whenever you play. And then you want to delay your land drop as late as possible to then decide if you want to actually tap it for green or white. Like your last land. Um, GG anyways. Um, good game. We are ready to play against Meronar. That is Rats. And... With Reds we have a decent amount of game against them, just because we play so many 1-1s that we can just chump them all day. Um, I would have loved to have one additional 1-drop here, for sure. Oh no, it's fine, I this Castle Unveil comes into play, tap, into play tapped anyways. But uh, it is certainly going to be interesting. I am on the play though. Or like, we are. Communism. Not democracy. Uh, the rest, sure. Um, Guardian project, that's fine. Yep, inquisitive puppet enters the battlefield, and don't need a lot of land here. Uh, sure, pass the turn. Don't me get me wrong, lands are fine and dandy, I guess, um, but. What's about to happen is 
we are going to play Ornithopter. We are tapping the Ornithopter for the Wadley. We're going to plus. And now we have a 1-1 one -one to block this red with. Or we can just basically jump the red. Uh, like, um, we, we have two choices here. We can crack this puppet and then block the red. Or we can block the red and then afterwards uh, crack it. So, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So now we basically have the same amount of creatures now on the battlefield. Ah, perfect. Um, is that perfect though? No, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Because now Lano always kicks in. Quietly again. And now we're just being passive, being patient. And Might of the Masses uh, can just block for us here. Okay. So I would love this Lano Elf to survive. Um, yeah, tap you. Mm -hmm. Crippling Fear. Yep. Block here. And now we get the Huatli ultimate, which is perfect. Especially because we drew some, a creature, right? So, draw a card here. Um, and then we are absolutely fine. Bankrus is banner, so they don't run out of cards either. Uh, I am absolutely fine just letting this go through. Uh, they realize that Huatli is not a threat right now. Um, yeah, a rest route kicking in. I would love to draw another card here so I get a second. Oh, yes. And we draw three here because Join the Dance is triggering the Clarion Spirit. Now we cast two in a turn. Yep, draw two more cards. And now these one ones are just dealing with these reds super well, right? Uh, I'm not going to ever block with this Clarion Spirit, to be honest, so. Yeah. Yeah, um, and even through that one side board wipe, basically, we managed to get them. Because I do believe the game is over at this point. Uh, they have fear. Oh no. Oh, wait. Fear, it's not menace. Ah. Ah. Uh, I don't care. I think. Play Lotus Cobra effectively costs one mana, right? Um, because we can play land and then all the fun stuff. Yeah, Mara, if we get a Convoke card here, that is so nutty. Yep, draw another. Okay. Legion's Landing, I assume? Mm -hmm. Yep. And... Let's play White, Servo Exhibition. Mm -hmm. Draw. Draw. And now we start dealing massive amounts of damage here through the opponent. Uh, and I do believe I want to flip this Legion's Landing. So, yep. Flip you. And... Yeah, next turn I can just swing with the spirit again. Like, even if they just everything at Wadley, I can't block it, but it then dies. But I play again, minus, and they just die. Yeah, sure, more reds. Yeah, more and more red. There is nothing they can do here. I. Yep. Oh, also, artifact. Oh, would you look at that? So that can actually block. But yeah, even then, um, they would have died here because... Play to Artly again. Uh, minus on the Spirit. Or at the very least on a Lifelinker, right? Um, yeah, GG. We are ready to play against Niv Mizzet, and this should be an awful matchup for us. Basically everything we don't like. Cheap ping effects for our creatures, uh, counter spells for our commander. Um... I would be highly surprised if we win this, but uh, let's see. Mm, Toski is a step into the right direction, but I don't think this hand does what we what it needs to do to beat a Niv Miz Parent player on the play. Well, we are on the draw and they are on the play, right? So 
Maybe turn 3 Toski is what I want though. Turn 3 Toski is better than turn 4 Toski. Yeah. It certainly is. Okay. Um. I'm still just going for the turn 3 Toski here. Um. Try to get that in. They kill the Curiated, that is okay. Then I can still play the Augur of Autumn. Oh, they're ramping towards the commander. Uh, don't think we will get there in time. Not having a one drop on turn one made this song of Raylist so much worse. Um Toski, go. Godred, opponent, do it. Um oh yeah, with this ominousies as well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This can get ugly really quick. Well, it is already. Oh! Oh! That's massive. I want to draw that. Yes. Thank you. Um. How to approach this? I don't think quietly is the idea here. I, 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 I just think it's not. Um. Start with the Song of Freddy's. Saw it coming. Yeah, I indeed did. Saw it coming. Okay, now you, yes, can play an Ugin's Conjurant off the top here. Yep. Swing in. Draw two. Best case scenario is would be a land on top. No land on top, but it is a white source. Question is, do we hold up the swords to plowshares or just play the ginger brute? I think we hold. Just because a board wipe is still a very real possibility here if they don't draw land. Oh, there is the land. So now Nif Mrs. comes down and man, be them like playing this of a treasure and now not having the treasure, it's so huge. Okay, which Ugin's Conjurant dies, sure. But now we have all the mana in the world for this Huatli to take up to 8. That is just great. Um, Huatli? Yes. And we just... Let's end this foolish tale I think we, we can go... No, we can't go Rishkar into like something else here, right? I should have... If I sequenced this differently, I could have went Rishkar into Raise the Alarm. But I think I just want to draw these cards anyways. Um, I really need to play another creature here. I was thinking maybe just draw the cards of Ketra's Monument, but uh, I don't think this is the way to go there. Um, swing in. What's on top? Mm hmm. Did play my land already, so. Yeah, play still on plus. And maybe even yeah, let's let's ginger brood as well. Um, get this loyalty as high as possible My because at this point the thing that stops the Hotly ultimate is damage. <clears throat> and now they need to th deal three or more instead of two or more. Murmuring Mystic doesn't cut it. Crush the weak doesn't cut it either. Perfect. And we get the Hotly ultimate, and they surrender. They know what's coming to them. Um, I would have so here. Hotly ultimate uh, would have probably started on the Sram's expertise, creating servos, and putting an Alcatraz monument into play, and then like Rishkar get more mana. Uh, yeah, the card advantage was too huge. There. They missed a lot of net and drops, so they were very far away of playing the Nif. I didn't expect this win at all. <laughs> wow. Um, GG. We are ready to play against Edgar Champgroom. Um, interesting starting hand. Interesting for sure. Let's go. Ah, interesting starting hand. Interesting for sure. Uh, let's move. Oh, uh, let's keep. Um, sure. Let's let's do it like this. I can play Sprouting Renewal on turn 2, it's not the best play, but it will do. And then turn 3, Rishkar. <clears throat> then I optimally want to draw a 1-drop. 
I mean, I, if I just draw like a one drop or even like a two mana produce two token card, then I'm in absolute business here anyways. Um, so let's see. Oh, uh, gotta, gotta get those tokens out whenever I can. I would love to get a one drop. One drop, one drop. Hire of Heroes, sure. Now oh, that is not a one drop. And we put these counters here and here. Swing in. And end the turn. So, bring it on, uh, deck. I know you can do it. Drana, that is not fine. Uh, there is a one drop though. Um, but now I'm considering not even playing that, I think. Oh, I think, yeah, I'm just going to swing like this. Safeless Savior in main phase 2. I'm just going to kill them like this, right? Yeah. This Drana is annoying. It is for sure super, super annoying. Just chips away at the Huatli. Mm. So let's see, is there a 4-drop vampire that they really want? Yeah, it's their commander. <laughs> ah, I would have guessed. Yep. Um, and then... Plus again, I believe. Yeah, sure. My strength is our strength. So... It goes up and up and up and up. And then ne starting next turn, I could like in two turns I can ultimate. Next turn, it's like out of range for the Strana to prevent it from ultimating. Um, I th think I want to do it like this because if they block now, I can kill it with Wishkar. And now the Strana doesn't even prevent Hoadli from ultimating. Which is really crucial, I believe. <clears throat> Let's see. Do they have a way of preventing the Huatli ultimate next turn? They can get a 1-drop vampire of this token. They can get a 4-drop vampire that then the Drana can't attack. Sanctum Seeker won't cut it as well, so we... Seems like we are getting the uh, Huatli ultimate here. Swords on that, uh, yeah, that limits my mana a lot. Um, but yeah, they realize it's late and they go face here with the Strana to grow their board. Well, only specifically the Drana, but um, oh, yes. Um, that is actually tricky. That is so tricky. I think I don't want to play it. Because I need to get rid of this Drana. <clears throat> Let's see. I assume they swing with Sanctum Seeker and Drana at my face. <clears throat> Sorry, and the Mirthless is absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. You deal with this annoyance. Yep, face face. Okay, they offer me the trade on the on this vampire as well. Yep, and now I have the option of killing the Sanctum Seeker or the Drana, but I think it is the Drana. Yeah. And my life total is getting kinda low, but I think we will manage. Oh, baby. Um, yeah, start on the giant killer because I still have white of the Ceruli caretaker. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd rather like sit back right now and then prefer not to um, 
activate the Sheffield Dunes if I can. Okay, okay. Yep. Now I have to. Draw cards. Then... I have to tap this for green. Oops. Tap you for green. Colorless, 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 and I guess white. Because then I can block two things here. And one of them with the savior and make this rose main center unblockable. Uh, indestructible, I mean. My strength no, Huatli can ultimate strength. next turn again. To be perfectly honest, if... Oh, this is... Uh, this is getting scary. Um, this is... Not gonna lie, it is getting very... Uh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, this is a human, this is a human, so Katilda is effectively a zero mana. Whenever you gain life target pot oh no! Um, yeah, I, I think I'm just dying then here, I guess? Oh no, uh, the Sancta... This was one threat too many, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm dead here in the air. Uh, there is nothing I can do, I believe. Yep. Because Dovin. Yep. 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 And. Block like this. Block like this. And I'm going down to one. I don't. I think there are ways how I get lethal here, right? Did I already use the Might of the Mass? Yes, I did. Ah, oh, damn it. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's life from the vampires. Oh, I'm dead anyways. Okay. Uh, GG. Um, pretty cool game. We are done with the games. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. And yeah, Huatli, Radiant Champion. Live fast, die young is basically the theme of this deck. And um, it is... Basically pure Selesnia combo aggro draw card thing, right? <laughs> so um, yeah, We didn't get to see like the absolute nut turns this deck is actually capable of where you just draw 30 40 cards in one turn of cards like March of the Multitudes and like you can just draw 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 and then still keep going and going and going with these convoke cards um, Right, so these cards you can play literally for free as well as the Ornithopters and whatnot. Um, and then when you think it's over and you only have two mana left, then you suddenly play a Song of Release. Now you have so much more mana to work with and go on and on and on and draw even more cards. And it is a beauty. It's the, really a thing of beauty. And um, yeah, it is, it is really, really fun. Uh, if you want to play this deck on a budget, though, what can you cut? What do you need? And... Luckily, some of the really good cards, like the Convoke cards and the two mana to create two tokens cards, are um, like uh, not not rare, some mythics. But some of the really, really good payoffs are sadly um, like you kind of have to craft them. What do I talk about? I basically talk about all the payoffs, right? And there are not many of them Divine Visitation, Cathar's Crusade, Anointed Procession, Parallel Lives. Those are basically your pay payoffs. Uh, as well as March of the Multitudes, and then Torrance Fist of the Angels is also a really, really, really good card. Captain Aberhart, I love, love, love as well, because it just makes your turn so much more cheaper. Um, and then you get into the you don't need this anymore category. Um, like, yes, you want all the fast mana like Mox Amber, um, and if you don't have it, you should craft it probably, but it's not that bad if you don't have it, right? Um, like, these you can just replace with one orbs. This, this is a zero drop, but it's not that bad if you don't craft it, right? Because when you're ulting, you still have your ultimate and kind, kind of can try to win off of that. Amara is amazing, Katilda is amazing, um, but you can just replace those with mana rocks, basically. Um, yeah, the, the, the like, e Guardian Project and Beast Whisper are surprisingly not that insane in this deck, even though they're, they're pretty good, right? But they're not the absolute insanity that there are in some other decks like Chilean. Yeah, um, 
I think this is basically it for the budget uh, of the stack. Um, a lot of cheap things and you basically replace what you don't have with cheap token creators. Uh, like one mana one ones are kind of fine. <laughs> Honestly, uh, it just slap some additional utility in. You can play, for example, um, the one mana creatures that gain life whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control. Uh, that can just help you in certain matchups, like the last game against the Vampires. That would have just totally kept me alive there. Um, it would have helped a lot, so you can try to experiment with those. And uh, yeah, lots of lots of cool interactions in the stack. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you tomorrow.